Hey, hey, people, welcome back. Today we're gonna go over more tips on how to maximize rewards in the desert, mainly Shayla temples. Before getting into specifics, here is uh, this month's map of the desert. Special thanks to DMG for making it. You can pause the video to check it out or just join our Discord. The Discord link is in the description below. Also, special thanks to Kala, Inflicto, and Phobos who had a major contribution to making this video happen. So, there are three Shayla temples and we will go over all of them as Perlopis didn't tell us any details regarding them. Before getting into details, let's set up some guidelines. Every Shayla temple has multiple paths based on, based on the level of the temple. So to make it easier, to understand what I'm going to say later on in the video. This is the top path, this is the bottom path, and this is the right path. So at this point in the video, if you're in a rush to find out what the best re routes to take are based on rewards and uh, based on what I think, then here they are. Shayla 1 right path, Shayla 2 top path with key, and Shayla 3 uh, top path also with key. But for a better analysis and extra de details, stick around till the end. So here we go. Shayla 1. Shayla 1 doesn't really have anything special. It has two possible ex exits as mentioned in the guidelines. The right path and the bottom path. Paths are straightforward. From the point shown in the picture, you either go down and, go, and then go straight and avoid the obstacles, or you go right, do some jumps and kill the mobs at the end. Rewards are as follows. Both exits give 30 million silver and XP, and 1.8k Dana coins, and a random alien room. So far we found out uh, only rare and unique, but it can also give better. There is also another reward that you get based on the exit that you chose, and here is where the maximizing gains will come in. For the right path, you get 16k Capra's Dust, and for the bottom path, you'll get 80k Shakatu Coin. So at this point in time, Shakatu Coins are basically irrelevant. So from my point of view, you should always go for the right path on Shayla 1. Shayla 2 introduces an ancient statue that is not located on the top platform, but rather on one below. From my test, not that many, uh, there are multiple things that uh, this uh, statue can do. So for once it can teleport you somewhere further on the map, it can give you a buff that will make you take less damage, and of course it can do nothing. <laughs> So yeah, um, this wasn't t tested a lot, so there can be multiple effects that it can cause. I did not find them relevant to maximizing gain, so I skipped it. But feel free to test it and let me know what other bonuses you get in the comment section below. Shayla 2 has three exits, uh, unlike Shayla 1 which only has two. So the three exits as, uh, are, are as follows. So the top part, which has two endings, and the bottom path. So the bottom path is the same as Shayla 1. Uh, from the mention point, you go down and just go straight ahead while avoiding all the obstacles. The top path has, as mentioned, two endings. The first ending is you go up till the end and just kill Shayla. And for the second ending up top, once you get to this point, you will be presented with two choices. So for Shayla 2, you will go right, and in the second room in the top left corner, you'll find the chest. So open the chest and get the, the key inside. The key is used to open a door after you defeated Shayla. So, uh, so far, I've checked both Shayla 2 and 3, and there is only one of these chests. So after you collected the key from the chest, you just go ahead and defeat Shayla. And as soon as the battle is done, you'll notice that the temple won't finish. So you'll just go straight ahead and open the door using the key and collect the reward. The rewards are as follows for Shayla 2. All three exits give 50 million silver and XP. The bottom path and top path 
kills Shayla, no key, gives 3k Adana's coins. The top path with key gives 3.2k Adana's coins, so you get 200 extra coins. All three exits give random alien room, so far we found rare and unique. The bottom path gives you 120k Shakatu coins. The top path Shayla only gives you 80k magical residue. The top path Shayla with key gives you 100k magical, magical residue. So to maximize rewards, and because Shakato coins are almost useless right now, you would always go for top path Shayla with key, because you get an extra 200 Adana coins, and they're kind of useless, but you, you also get 20k extra magical residue, so always go for that. Shayla 3 removes ancient statue on the lower platform, so it has to be done as follows. First take the bottom uh, ancient statue, then climb up so you can take the one on top and raise the bridge. Just like Shayla 2, Shayla 3 has three exits. The top path, which as previously mentioned in Shayla 2, has two endings, and in this case, the right path. So the right path is just like Shayla 1. Go right, defeat the mobs while jumping over some obstacles, and that's it. The top path has one difference uh, from Shayla 2, though. The non-key Shayla exit is exactly the same. But for Shayla 3, the key this time in the chest is located not in the right room, but rather in the left room. So you just go to the left room and you will find it in the first room, bottom left side. And you just do exactly the same as Shayla 2. Get the key, defeat Shayla, and then just open the door. So the rewards are as follows. All three exits give you 60 million silver and XP. Right path and top path kill Shayla with no key give you 3.6k Adana's coin. Top path with key gives you 3.8k Adana's coin. So again, 200 extra coins. Right path gives you 30k Copper's Dust. The top path Shayla only gives you 50k Magical Essence. The top path Shayla with key gives you 60k magical essence. So, just as uh, Shayla 2, rewards are better with key. So, you will always go for the key if you decide that magical essence is important. For me, it is important to get more CP from my accessories. I will always go for top Shayla with key, but at the same time, if you already got high stats on your accessories, the right path is definitely not a bad choice, as you do need to get uh, your, your sushi and your luck stones up to, to deck. So that's it. All three paths that uh, I consider to be the best paths are based on fix that I need. PA didn't give us uh, this info, so I'm giving you this info so you can choose what best fits your needs. So another news, the channel reached 100 subs, so thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, everyone. It really means a lot to me. It is definitely confirmed that everyone that is subscribed has a big PP. So thank you again. Uh, and all jokes aside, thank you again for all the support that you have shown so far. And till next time, take care and have fun. Bye-bye.